Happy New Year, everyone. As we're wrapping up 2024 and looking ahead to the new year, I wanted to flag something that might not be on everyone's radar. Definitely. It can make a big difference in your Proxmox setup. For sure. Yeah. You know, those CPU scaling governors. Oh, yeah. Big time. It's one of those under the hood things you don't always think about. but It can make a huge difference. So for those who haven't dug into this yet, mm -hmm. what exactly are these CPU scaling governors? What do they actually do? Well, think of your CPU like a car, right? Okay. And it has different gears, just like your car does. Right. And the scaling governor is basically what's deciding which gear you're running in. Interesting. So it's trying to balance performance with energy efficiency. So it's kind of like if you choose the wrong gear in your car, it can feel really sluggish. Exactly. Yeah. So the wrong governor setting could be holding your server back. Big time. Okay. So it's not just about having a powerful CPU. Right. It's about making sure it's running at the right speed. For the right situation. Yeah. Now, something you mentioned before we started recording is that the default settings in Proxmox, yeah. especially with Proxmox V8, are not always ideal. No, they're not. So are you saying my server might be stuck in like first gear without me even knowing it? It's totally possible. Oh, no. So let's break down some of these different governor modes. Okay, good idea. Just so you understand what we're talking about here. Yeah, yeah, let's walk through that. All right, so we've got the common ones, you know, like performance, power save, and on demand. Okay. Performance mode is basically like putting your foot on the gas pedal the whole time. Okay. You're going to get max power. Max power, but maybe not so great on the electricity bill. Yeah, that is a trade-off. Okay, so what about power save? Power save is the opposite, right? It's all about saving electricity. Yeah. It's going to try and keep that CPU running at a lower speed as much as it can. Okay, so maybe things run a little slower? Potentially, yeah. All right, so we've got the two extremes. Yeah. Max power versus max efficiency. Yeah. Now, what about that on-demand mode? Yeah. That yeah. sounds like you could be a nice sweet spot there. That's the one that tries to be smart about things. Yeah. It's trying to adjust the CPU speed based on what you're doing. Oh, cool. You so know. if you're just, you know, browsing the web, it'll probably keep things low and save power. Yeah. But if you start doing something more intense, like uh, maybe editing a video or you fire up a VM, yeah. it's going to ramp up the CPU to give you more power. So it's like the car that can shift gears for you. Exactly. Yeah. That sounds pretty good. Yeah. Is that the default in Proxmox? You would think, right. Yeah. But there's a catch. Oh, no. What's the catch? Especially with Proxmox VE8. Okay. Sometimes, and this is a pain, during that setup process, oh. the default can actually get set to power save. Right. And it might just stay there silently. Without you even knowing it. Yep. Ah, oh, that's so frustrating. It is, yeah. So even though on-demand sounds like the smarter option, some people might be unknowingly stuck with this setting that's slowing their server down. It happens more than you think. Oh, man. And this isn't just theory. Right. This has a real impact on your Proxmox experience. Yeah, okay, so give me an example. Imagine you've got this powerful server. That yeah, I've spent good money on it. Exactly, it should be super fast. Yeah. But the CPU is stuck being throttled way back. Right. So everything feels sluggish. Ugh, yeah. I hate that. Your VMs are slow. Your backups are taking forever. I can see how that would be really annoying. And even just the Proxmox interface itself, yeah. it can feel laggy. Okay, now I'm getting worried. It's worth checking, believe me. So how do I even know what governor my server is using right now? Well, don't worry. Okay. It's actually pretty easy to check. Okay. You can just open up a terminal yeah. and run a simple command. Give it to me. It's cat sys device system puck, 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 puck scaling governor. Okay, that's a mouthful, but I'm writing it down. No worries, it's worth it. So that'll tell me what's active right now. Exactly, yeah. So let's say I run it. Okay. And, uh, oh, it says I'm stuck in power save mode. Oh, no. How do I actually change it then? All right, well, Proxmox has a tool for this. Yeah. You'll need to install a package first, though. Oh. It's called cpufrequitals. Cpufrequitals. You can install that with apt install cpufrequitals. Okay, so we're installing the toolbox. Exactly. And then we can start actually changing things. Right. What's the command to change the governor? So once you have cpufrequitals installed, yeah. you can use cpufrequital is set dash rg on demand. Okay. To switch over to on demand mode. All right, cpufrequitals set dash rg on demand. You can also replace on demand with performance. Oh, okay. If you want to just go full power. Go for it. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Just a couple of commands. Pretty much. Yeah. And I could potentially like unlock all this performance. You'd be surprised. 
amazing. It's always good to double check, though. Oh, right. Yeah, of course. After you make the change. Make sure it actually took effect. Good for So run that first command again. Right. The one to check the governor. Yep, just to be sure. Check. Double check. Exactly. Now, you mentioned before. Yeah. This can have a real impact oh, yeah. on actual performance. It's not just theoretical. Yeah. Okay, so what are we talking about here? Give you an example. Yeah, please. We've seen cases where people have switched yeah. and their CPU load just drops. Oh, wow. Like 30% sometimes. Really? 30%? Just from making this one change. That's huge. It's a big deal. So it's not just a little bit faster. Right. We're talking potentially like a major boost. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And that translates to everything. Right. VMs are faster. Backups are quicker. Yeah. Even the Proxmox interface itself. Right. That makes sense. It's like a free hardware upgrade. That's what I like to hear. No need to spend more money. So let's say I've made the change. Okay. My server is happy now. Good. How do I make sure it doesn't revert back? Ugh, good question. Yeah. Do I have to check this every time Proxmox updates? It's a good practice to check after big updates. No way. Just in case. Yeah. But... Ideally, you want to set it and forget it. Right, of course. And you can, actually, yeah. with some automation. Automation, that's the best. It is. Automa so you can add a few lines okay. to your system's startup scripts to okay. set your preferred governor. Every time. Every boot, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. So you don't have to worry about it. So a little bit of work up front can yep. save me a lot of hassle later on. Exactly. Any other tips for, like, staying on top of CPU performance? Yeah, get familiar with some monitoring tools. Okay. HTOP is a it great one. Top. It shows you real-time CPU usage. Oh, cool. So you can see how the governor is affecting things. Okay. There's also CPUFREC info. CPUFREC info. Which gives you even more detail. Wow. Okay, so we've got our commands. Yep. Automation monitoring tool. We're becoming CPU experts here. I like it. It's all about understanding how things work. Right, so you can optimize. Exactly. Now, before we move on, yeah. I'm curious. Okay. Are there ever situations where the performance governor uh -huh. might actually be the better choice. That's a good question. Even on newer hardware. Yeah, so while on-demand is usually a good default, right. there are some workloads where performance might be better. Oh, interesting, okay. Like, imagine you're running something yeah. that's really sensitive to latency. Okay. Like high-frequency trading. Oh, wow, yeah. Or certain types of gaming servers. That makes sense. Then performance can help with that. Okay, so it really depends what you're doing. It's not one-size-fits-all. Right. It's not just a simple answer. No. It depends on your Proxmox setup. Exactly, yeah. So yeah. the takeaway is don't just settle for the defaults. Right. Take some time. Understand how your CPU is being managed. You might be surprised. You could unlock some serious performance. It's worth it. I like that. A little knowledge goes a long way. It really does. Mm. It's true. Sometimes you got to dig a little deeper to really make things sing. Yeah. The defaults aren't always the best. So for all our listeners out there, as you're wrapping up 2024, yeah. heading into the new year. New year, new server. Maybe make it a resolution. Good idea. To really spend some time yeah. digging into your Proxbox settings. Get in there. You might find some hidden gems. Who knows what you'll find? That could boost your server's performance. It's like a gift. It's a New Year's gift to your server. To yourself. And hey, remember. Yeah. Don't settle for a sluggish server. No way. With a little effort. A little bit of effort. You can unleash that full potential. Absolutely. That's what Proxmox is all about. That's what we like to see. Well, thanks for joining us for this deep dive. Yeah, thanks everyone. Into CPU scaling governors. It's been fun. Always something new to learn. Always. We'll catch you next time. See you later. We'll catch you next time. See you later. For another tech exploration. Happy tuning, everyone. Happy tuning. Happy tuning.